Hello, in this video, I would like to demonstrate how someone's poor manual dexterity due to their cerebral palsy affects their ability to draw. I will use scientific representation to show this. Now, this will be very niche, but important for someone in deciding whether they would like to major in a scientific discipline in college. Now, not all scientific disciplines use exclusively organic notation or organic chemistry notation, but it will come up in every scientific discipline. So it is important to be able to draw three-dimensional organic molecules. I will draw arguably the most common and simplest organic molecule, benzene, to demonstrate this. Now, this is not a good drawing. So, I will attempt again. Now, this just further illustrates how difficult this process is for someone with poor manual dexterity. Now, this was a little bit better, but not great. If you have as much trouble as I do drawing these simple molecules, you should really reconsider whether majoring in a scientific discipline is for you. Now, you can get a computer program which will draw molecules for you. However, to just practice enough so that you are efficient for a test, the only true way to do this is to be able to spontaneously draw molecules freehand. Now, although this is unfortunate, this is just the way that it is. Now, I can draw structures in this form. This is a common way to represent molecules. However, as you can see, It is very slow and therefore not used as much as the ring structure. So if you are uncomfortable drawing ring structures as my very poor drawings so I am, I strongly suggest you reconsidering majoring in a scientific discipline because you will only be creating more frustration for yourself and not even frustration that you can help, frustration that is beyond your 
abilities to fix, which is the worst thing you could do for yourself. Worst thing that any young growing adult can do for themselves is to intentionally run up against something that they have no control of. And as you can see, I clearly have very little control as to representing these molecules in an accurate, neat way, which is what is required in a scientific discipline.